I know you won't believe it, but we have another update from Instagram and we have to talk about it. There's a lot to cover. Here's what you'll learn in this video. So let's do this. It seems like I've only just talked about the massive change we got to the new Instagram grid, but turns out it was almost half a year ago in January and we have major news that can make a lot of you very happy. Now, to give you a quick recap, at the beginning of the year, Instagram changed the way our profile grids are displayed and they changed from the classic squares to a portrait ratio grid. And granted, the square post was an iconic Instagram style that so many people loved, but the portrait ratio posts do give you a lot more space, so it's only natural that the grid preview would follow suit. Now, the issue is that when we got the new profile look, it didn't actually follow the 4 to 5 ratio, which was the same ratio as the recommended post size, but rather it was in 3 to 4 ratio, which we couldn't actually post to Instagram. This caused a massive hustle for loads of creators because suddenly you had to take into account a completely new look of the grid and the preview was actually more narrow than the post so the thumbnails would not look the best and the whole feed aesthetic was ruined for a lot of people not to mention everyone who still used the square size as a default. What's new is that we can now post three to four ratio images on Instagram which is a big win for everyone. It was announced by Maseri just a few days ago and this man usually gives us the updates before anyone else and they are official so he's obviously a trustworthy source since he's the head of Instagram. Now this is the size that most cameras default to so it's perfect if your graphics are photo based. By the way I'm Natalia and I help you create better content and grow on social media so subscribe if you'd like to make content creation much easier for yourself. Now what does this whole change mean to you? Well it means that you have more options and for a very long time not just since January the portrait post with the four to five ratio was the recommended size and it translated to 1080 by 1350 pixels. This post size is slightly cropped at the size because the size of the grid preview is in the four, three to four ratio. So 1012 by 1350 pixels. So again, slightly narrower. Now this means when designing in four to five ratio, you have to take this margin into account and leave more space from both sides. Now, if you want, you can also just go for the three to four ratio post again size 1012 by 1350 pixels and not worry about the cropping in the preview at all. From my perspective I don't feel the need to switch to the 3 to 4 ratio for a few reasons. One the slight cropping of the side doesn't really bother me. It's enough to follow the margins in Canva to leave enough space for the content to be displayed nicely on your profile and two because I've been posting in 4 to 5 portrait ratio for years literally since I started in 2020 and all my brand templates are in this ratio already. I don't need to change anything since it's not an official kind of recommended post size change, just in addition to what we can post. And three, of course, because this resolution gives me enough space to show what I want and catch attention in the feed. More on that a little later. I also have free templates for you to see how easy it is to actually design in this format. And you can grab them from the link below. It really is no fuss. And I'll show you a demo in Canva in just a second on what this new Instagram feed look means for a designing process. Process. Now, for those of you who are more photo based, the three to four ratio is also available. Now, I think I should also mention the Reels format. It still remains the same with the 1080 by 1920 pixels, the standard profile preview. So your main profile tab shows a preview as the three to four ratio as mentioned so it's slightly more narrow from the top and the bottom and the real step on your profile shows the full size in the reels preview so again for covers I would design them in the same reels format 1080 by 1920 pixels and take the top and bottom narrowing plus a square into account. And a little word on uh, the availability of this feature and this is sadly just how it goes with Instagram that not everyone gets these updates in their account immediately. I've literally just had a quick exchange here on YouTube with one of my audience members who literally just said he doesn't even see the January update in his main account. So the posts on his profile are still in the square format. And I get it because I still have an account where the preview is the old square too. So that's why I still recommend to take the middle square into account and design so that it doesn't get awkwardly cut off in this section since we don't actually know how many people have this January update in their account and the explore page 
is still showing the square post preview too. Again, I'll show it to you in the demo in just a moment and my free templates take this square into account too. But what about this square post format itself? Well, here I know I will disappoint a lot of you. We're way past the point of posting squares and as nostalgic and aesthetic though they may seem, it's not the best format to use anymore. Squares take much less space on the main scrolling feed so they're easier to just swipe past. The change to the profile grid is also permanent and will eventually reach everyone and it's much more hassle to make your square post look good for the three to four profile ratio. And listen, I get it. It's been the Instagram format for years. The OG vibe is still very much strong, but it really is time to switch over to the dark side and embrace the rectangle. You do you though. I'm definitely not here to force anyone. And if the squares still feel better to you, despite my arguments here, you can keep posting those. Bottom line is you have to enjoy it too. For those of you who are still upset about how your feed looks, this is my tip for you. Go to your profile, press and hold on the post preview you want to change, and you'll see this box right here with the option to adjust the preview. From here, you can change the positioning of your cover, or you can go ahead and change it to something else completely, which is a very useful thing, even when you're sometime down the line reworking your whole aesthetic later on. This doesn't always or doesn't completely eliminate the issues with how your feed looks, especially if you've been posting square posts so far, but it does get you somewhere. At the same time, something you have to remember is that people don't usually scroll through your profile forever, so it's fine to adjust the most recent, you know, 15, 18, 21 posts maybe, and leave the rest since it's not really worth fixing it any further unless you feel like it bothers you. So in terms of dimensions, here's the cheat sheet to let you know how to post. And again, don't forget to grab the free templates below so that it's easier for you. And I've included the cheat sheet in here too. Let's jump into Canva quickly so that you understand how to design for this new feed. If you want to start posting in the new three to four ratio, all you have to do is to go to custom size in here and then go to 1012 by 1350 pixels and then start creating the new design. And this will then open it up. Of course, you can apply any of the different um, templates from the library as you normally would, or you can search for something. Just make sure that the square in the middle is actually taken into account. You can see that this now stretched out and how you check for this middle square is to literally just add a rectangle. So I'll just press R to add it. And then from here, I'm just going to stretch it out. You can see that it says 1012 by 1012 in here. And now this means that I can go to the guides. If you don't see the guides, you go to file. Here at the top, you see settings. So I'll go to show rulers and guides. This is where you find these rulers in here. Now that you've got this rectangle, all you have to do is to go to the ruler and drag one from the top and then another to the bottom and literally just snap them into place to the side of the rectangle. And this will give you roughly the idea of what gets cut off and what doesn't in the square preview. Because again, we're still trying to optimize both for those people who don't have the new profile look and also for those who are landing on the explore page just on the off chance that you do you want to make sure that everything gets displayed properly so you can see that this one at the very bottom it's not very big but it is kind of you know standing out a little bit from underneath so what i would do is to just literally drag it to go under this guide like this so this is how you make sure that you're optimizing three to four portrait ratio now i'm going to go for my regular post so this is a single image graphic that i've got from kind of before and again what we're trying to do is to go to enable the ruler. So what I love to do is also just to use a shortcut because I'm shortcutting everything I can in Canva. And all you have to do is to go for shift and R and this will give you this lovely ruler at the top. You can see that these come kind of pre-fitted because I have all of my templates with the guides enabled. So I have them kind of sorted. And again, you see that this is now the square. So the exact same method, I added R, I stretched it out uh, from both sides just like this 1080 by 1080 again because this is the four to five portrait ratio so i'm showing you this in here this is the size for the kind of classic portrait that we've had before and this is how i'm checking that everything gets um, kind of properly displayed for the square. Now, in terms of what you want to do for this format to get displayed on the profile grid properly is to again add our rectangle now, what I love to do is go to position 
And then from here in the advanced, you can specify the size. And this is what we we're specifying exactly the three to four ratio. So what I've just shown you in the other post type. So 1012, 1350. And now I'm going to go for center, middle, and send it to front. And this is where I can see the boundary for my other guides. Again, these were enabled, so I'll just remove them like this. And I can just drag new ones to the side. You can see that it sits at 34. I think it's actually 34 and a half or 33 and a half. I don't do maths very quickly in my brain. So this is how it works like this. And this is how you make sure that everything gets displayed properly. Again, in my free templates, you'll have this pre-fitted, you'll have the save zones and areas that you can kind of grab very quickly. And this is how easy you will just kind of be able to plug it into Canva and then start designing very easily. Now for Instagram Reels, I'll show that to you on Instagram Reels cover because they're obviously the same size and I'm using one design to design all of my covers. So this is very easy to, for me to access. Now this is again in the 1080 by 1920 pixel size and this in the preview gets cropped a little differently. So again, what I'm doing is to just add a rectangle. Again, I'm making sure that I'm checking that everything is proper for the square. So you can see that maybe I could move this bit a little bit. I'll enable the guides by hitting shift and R again and just you can see that these are prefit again. This is how I do everything. So you can see that in here, I might just squeeze it a little bit lower if I wanted to, but I actually kind of prefer it that way because I know that it's not really cutting anything off. It's not too awkward in here. And then for the new preview, what I need to do is to go to the rectangle again. And the sizing in here is actually 1080 by 1440 pixels. So this is what I'm using again, middle, center, send it to front. And you can see that mine is actually already kind of snapped into place. So you're dragging these to the sides in here. And this is how you're making sure that no kind of text, if you had any, you know, text in here, for example, or I can maybe, you know, grab this one. We don't want anything of that nature. Like if I had new I don't want that to be on the boundary. I would definitely kind of squeeze it in here or just pop it at the top. But again, this is not how everything works. This one was already optimized. And again, in the templates, you have these kind of guides preset in there. You see everything that you need to do. And it's also including the checklist, the kind of cheat sheet of the sizes as well. So go grab them from below. All right, but what about the other updates? Back when the first change was made public, Masseri and the Creators account both announced that there's a change coming where you'll be able to actually edit the grid completely, including reordering the post. And I thought that was super, super cool and really useful. Well, unfortunately, so far, we've not seen this change implemented, so hopefully it's coming sooner than later. So many creators that use scheduling apps like Later or Flick love the features that allow for grid planning, so I think it would be a great addition natively on the platform. Now, another thing was the ability to reorder the posts on the grid. And again, I've not really seen anything of the sort yet. And the one that I was really excited about was the feature to post directly to the profile grid without showing it out on our followers post feed, which is also not here yet. I was really looking forward to this one for reintroduction posts, for creating some helpful banners that may not necessarily be super important to existing followers, but do make the profile so much more clear and easy to navigate. But of course, we'll have to wait for those a lot longer, it looks. Now, I want to know how you feel about this new update and also about the grid itself as well. Let me know if you're planning on posting in the three to four ratio. Are you sticking to four to five? Or maybe are you still the OG square poster? Let let me know in the comments below and also make sure you watch this video to build a solid strategy this year and take your posting to the next level. Subscribe, hit that like button. Don't forget to grab the free templates below and thank you so much for watching.